All right, so Gachu moves on to Ga Gachu. Gachu. Yeah. Dark Pit moves on. <laughs> You say he, uh, I hope he doesn't watch the VOD later. I say he uh, got the download. He got the download. Yeah, I hope he doesn't watch the VOD later. <laughs> Don't watch this, please. Yeah. I mean, who know more about me uh, than the Pit Isabel matchup than I do? Yeah, I actually know how, how Byleth plays because you've probably murdered me millions of times at this point <laughs> um, as Byleth. Dude. But I don't know if you're going to be on stream, though. I don't know. You can go back 7 and put you on stream. I don't know. Let it's me... 7. Can you put a player I know on stream? <laughs> a character I actually know? Seven. So, Nathan and I are playing next. What do you think? Bracket-wise, what's pretty hyped right now? It's two MSU uh, students going to... Okay. So you guys have to play on I had food come in. Like, how, how on schedule are we? I mean, how long does it take you to eat? What'd she get? I didn't see what she got. Uh, Alyssa got us barbecue, and you got food too. Oh, no, I have food, but I'm commentating. I mean, you already have this, like, face seven. Seven. No offense, but this keyboard, man. It's my keyboard. I think I had this keyboard back when I was in grade school. This is this is, this is is the keyboard I used back in grade school at my computer classes. I probably got it from a school. I don't even know. So wait, what, what round is this? I guess so. I didn't know this. Winner semis. And who are the two players? I think I know how to spell that. Yeah, I see how they... All right, sweet. There we go. All right, hopefully I spelled that right. Don't sue me if I didn't. Oxy Graham. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm fixing it. I saw. I spotted the mistake. Don't yell at me yet. Don't yell at me yet. All right, that should be right now. Oh, let me get you in there. Sorry, guys. All right, there we go. Right? Sorry, I'm like freaking out over Foxy's name. I gotta make sure I spell it right, guys. All right, there we go. Uh, so we're going from uh, two characters that I don't know too much about to two characters I somewhat know about. Where basically one wants to throw keys and other items at the other character, and the other one just wants to desync until they get spiked off stage. So we got winner semis. Uh, deep runs by both these gentlemen. All these guys are usually uh, top eights at their respective bears as well. Uh, just watch uh, some regular, uh, regular, comp regular fighting. Uh, Saba denying any of the uh, grab onto his uh, popo. I feel like trying to realize which one's which for the ice climber. Sorry guys. Got a double up air. I really looking to contest the uh, Pac-Man up B. But I suppose he's kind of in that, uh, I suppose he's a hurt box at that point, so. Alright, get that uh, smash, getting the Popo out of there. So we're looking at a Nano versus uh, Pac-Man. Uh, honorable 1v1, which is what Foxy wants right now. But he's only, but uh, Sable's only at 69%, so we probably will be able to live for a little bit. And definitely probably just looking to trade right now. Yeah. This is uh, honestly lasting for a lot, uh, for a decent amount, I'd say. Oh, it's best of five now? All right. All right, we're best of five now, boys. You're gonna see uh, hopefully five action-packed games between uh, Foxy and Seba. And just right now, Seba's just kind of really sitting on this uh, solo icy for like a minute now, I'd say. My bad. Uh, I look away for a second and uh, the icy gets murdered. Back to uh, normal icy combos here. But like I said, gain Foxy to 126 as a uh, solo ice climber. Still definitely pretty good for him. Obviously not ideal being a stock down right now. Almost. That was Foxy's shield's pretty low there, but I feel like T's doing pretty good to keep the uh, icy separated. Uh, no, I think that was just actual movement. I thought the water from the fire hydrant kind of moved it. 
Uh, you kind of notice there as uh, Foxy finally loses his stock. It seems like the uh, Galga is actually kind of disrupting the Ice Climbers a lot. He just kind of throws it and then they kind of just get separated uh, from the getting hit from there and then just kind of the circle. As the uh, Hydrant goes flying above uh, Pac-Man's head. Oh! Oh no, we come back to a so icy action. Ice Climbers is the only character where you see a uh, character death and it's like, oh no, there goes the stock and then you just a lone ice climber just floating back towards the stage. Which isn't ideal, but again, I mean, if Sayla just takes him back to 100% uh, again, that's he's perfectly fine with that. Again, I just don't know if uh, ice climbers have that many good kill options when it's just one. But yeah, just getting some damage off, definitely really good right now. Pretty much damage right now is the name of the game for uh, Seba. If he's able to get him to like 60 or 80, which he's not able to. So, uh, last talk for your uh, save off for this. Let's see if we can actually get some combos off. Foxy's been doing a great job. You can even see there. Just disrupting disrupting the Icy's and getting the, uh... Oh my god. Getting the, uh, secondary Icy. Lum, I love you. Alright. Uh, showing some uh, love for Lum in the chat. I can get on Discord on my phone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, but uh. Oh, that IC might be dead. Yeah. All right. Sabo's gonna have to. Uh, if he wants to bring it back, this game's gonna do his solo IC. Yeah, but Foxy just doing really good disrupting the ICs. And just getting uh, the secondary IC again. I think it's. I think that skin, it's uh, Popo, who's the secondary. Oh, grabs the bell. It's going to be interesting. Z-drop, Z-drop combo? Unfortunately not. Foxy able to get out of that scary spot. But again, this is looking pretty good for Foxy. Uh, I think it's going to be... Sabo's going to have to put in some work if he wants to come back at this point for this game. But again, this is just game one, so everyone just kind of warming up, trying to remember how to play against each other. As uh, Foxy takes the game one fairly convincingly, though. So we're going to have to see what uh, we're going to for game two. I think we got a lilac band. Mild shock. Trying to listen in. Oh, I think they already picked their stage in, but yeah, they did. Oh, I saw I don't even know where we're going anymore. Whoops, too late. Too early. Alright, now we're going. Game two. Everyone's staying on their characters. I'm going to Battlefield, alright. Uh, I don't know how this is really is. I don't know how uh, this map really is. I think they just kind of want platforms. Uh, loves to be too of course, I'm trying to remember where we were at PS2, we were at PS2 last match. But uh, Saiba just kind of abused, not abusing, excuse me. Using the, uh, kind of, I believe that's a side B with the spin. Kind of just spinning in and spinning out. And juking it out. But here we go again with the uh, disrupting the ICs right now on the side of uh, Foxy. Yeah, you can see like they're just like constantly not on the same same uh, place right now. I feel like the hydrant, the hydrant and the uh, Galga are probably like the two biggest offenders for kind of disrupting those ICs. <laughs> but of course, Saiba's currently kind of have a uh, percent lead right now. Yeah. Nothing too substantial right now though. And here comes the Galga. You can see just like since the ICs are kind of in different spots, the Galga just kind of disrupts them. So one's in hit stun while the other one kind of falls out of the combo. Then Foxy punishes the one that's not in the combo. Oh, saving. Saber able to save the Icy there. Unable to uh, save him against the forward smash though. And once again, Saber going uh, against uh, Foxy. And there we guys I'm talking about being so Icy gets the uh, kill onto uh, Foxy. So uh, Saber's definitely, uh, Saber's definitely satisfied with any damage he gets, but uh, this might be it for him on this stock. Oh, gets the ledge though. Alright, this is pretty much any poke he gets there is pretty good for him right now. Pretty much just setting him up for the uh, return of the uh, episode 2 return of the uh, Popo. And there we go. Popo's back in. Gonna show this Pac Man who's boss now. Got back up again. But, uh. 
Yeah. Is he here? You go, Foxy's just comboing the. Uh, Foxy's just comboing the uh, ice climber. Oh wait. Oh my God, that fire hydrant play. That was nutty. And just like that, Foxy's back into the lead. Back, back commanding a. Excuse me. Foxy's now back into a strong and commanding lead. Off of that fire hydrant play, just kind of spiking. His Seva kind of just uh, got the fire hydrant out. And then Seva had to uh, run to uh, save uh, Nanam Popo, but he was so low that Foxy just kind of punishes him and stops him from being able to fully recover. So, honestly, kind of a mistake, I want to say, from Seba. Well, to be honest, I don't know, like, if that was the ultimate play, trying to like, get rid of that hydrant, so. Oh, there we go. Waiting it out. Oh! Damn. Reads the, reads the get up. Foxy now up 2 0. And, uh,. Yeah, we're pretty much uh, if, uh, if Seba wants to continue his winner's run, he's going to have to pull out the reverse sweep. But honestly, that game two was commanding on the side of Foxy. And they pick Sage again. I keep looking away to like try to like listen in. And by the time I like listen in to them, they're like already, uh, <laughs> they're already, already picked the stage and picking their characters. So we're going back to Battlefield. Oh, Alright, they're on the right side. Alright, they're on the right side. Alright, game three. Seba looking to uh, star off the reverse sweep. Well, Foxy's looking to uh, secure his place in the uh, into finals. Uh, I don't know about the uh, other. Oh, there's the uh, partial desync combo. The, the spicy uh, bring him to the ledge and then uh, have your backup spike him. Uh, Sable's honestly doing really well. Uh, I know, like, if I ever played ICs, I'd, oh, wait, I feel like my secondary IC would be dead at that point if I was uh, playing ICs. So Sable definitely, of course, when you're top 8, you pretty much know that these guys know what they're doing with their characters, especially in, like, a, I'd say Springfield pr feels pretty good. Singles, pr uh, th th Springfield has some pretty good players, in my opinion. Of course, I don't really know other scenes. So, uh... But yeah, these players know what they're doing, so. Let's just see some normal stuff. And once again, uh, I will say, Sayla does, at least game two and game three, does start with a uh, strong start. And uh, so far, still has double icy, so uh, Foxy's not really able to disrupt as much this game, I feel like, right now. And uh, now he's kind of facing a uh, percent lead as uh, Popo gets sent out into the stratosphere. Both, both, uh... I don't know what I'm saying. He got hit really far, and then he got killed, and then uh, Seba kind of got knocked low without the uh, proper upbeat. Oh, and they're just kind of carrying him away. Oh, that might be a... That's just a dead. That's a dead secondary Icy. Foxy just pretty much just understands what he needs to do against this Icy and just disrupts Seba's game plan on the character. And honestly, just Foxy just like, except for kind of like the start of game two, Foxy's just been kind of been controlling the pace of these sets, I feel like. And of course, he immediately gets up smashed, as I mentioned that. Uh, thanks, Foxy, for uh, making me look like an idiot. As if I don't look like an idiot already, dropping out no two. But uh, hey, at least I uh, almost zeroed to death indecisive before getting three socks by him. Gotta look at the positives in life, boys. Because I'm sure Seba's looking at the positive. Getting the stock with Solo Icy and getting some damage. Again, it's always possible. Last stock. He still has that. He still has, It might look bad for him now. But uh, remember, uh, he still has one more stock. So he still has another chance with double Icy's. In this uh, set, at least. But uh, getting some good stuff. Getting some good stuff. Uh, for, being, for pretty much dropping uh, the secondary Icy fairly quickly. He's getting him up to 65 on his second stock. While still being solo icy, so I will say Sable's uh, solo icy has been pretty good so far. Definitely not just kind of like mental booming whenever his uh, his partner kind of gets knocked gets knocked away. So definitely still comes a good fortitude from Seba. And uh, as I say that, go ahead and bring in tapping in his partner back in, saying, "All right, all right, match is over. Get in here. Let's go duo on this guy." So uh, last stock from uh, Seba, potentially for this set. Uh, parries, but it looks like uh, the multi-hit, he was, Pac-Man was still kind of in the icy as uh, he dropped the shield. But yeah, Seba, again, if Seba wants to get in this, he's going to have to try to find that kill as soon as he can before uh, 
Foxy can get off any more damage. He gets the grab. Gets the uh, shield poke, though. Just kind of back and forth. This is definitely still anyone's game, I'd say. And while, like, uh, Saber still has, like, a mountain to climb, kind of a failed punish there. It is still possible. If he can get this kill pretty quickly onto uh, Foxy. I'm just sitting on ledge. All right, there we go. All right, Seba's definitely still in this. He still has the double icy, and while he's still at 76%, he can still definitely carry this back. He just needs one good desync. He's back into it, but uh, his secondaries kind of get poked around right now by the uh, Pac-Man. Uh, this, is, this is potentially dangerous. All right, dodges the forward smash. Look really at around that, but uh, looking pretty good for Foxy now, I'd say. He's definitely uh, playing around after that game two forward smash. He's definitely uh. Be more cautious about it. Alright, let's see if he's able to get any punishes off. He hasn't really gotten that much damage off this stock. But again, still has a double icy, so I'd still say he's in decent spirits. And he kinda Unfortunate Foxy finally gets to the forward smash again. Kinda reads the uh spin. I don't know if that's side B, that's why I'm calling it spin. Kinda just reads the spin and that'll be 3 0 for uh Foxy going into winner's final and uh, Sable dropping to losers. And we're gonna get Yez. I believe that's the that's the other semifinal, right? Alright, and we're gonna get Yez and Indecisive now. The other side of Winter Sunnies. Alright. Let's see if I can do this right. Yeah, just overall really good uh, set from Foxy, uh, able to kind of just disjoint the, uh, able to disjoint the ICs, but I give credit to Seba. Uh, multiple times where he was on that solo IC and he was still like playing to win and getting some stocks and getting some good damage off on Foxy, so 